Meet Nicole, a woman who survived a shark attack and not only overcame her physical and emotional trauma, but turned her experience into an opportunity to educate and advocate for shark conservation. Have you ever wondered what it's like to come face to face with a shark? It's January 31st, 2011, and Nicole Moore, a 39-year-old woman, is enjoying a day at the beach in Cancun with friends from her exercise group back home in Orangeville, Ontario. The tropical weather is perfect for these fitness enthusiasts, and after an intense game of volleyball on the beach, Nicole's friends decide to head back to the hotel for lunch. Nicole chose to stay behind for a refreshing swim to wash the stubborn soft sand off her skin. While her friends head back to the hotel without her, little does she know that this decision will change her life forever putting her beliefs to the test and terrifying anyone who hears her story. Nicole Moore approached the water with a sense of tranquility that afternoon, relishing in her vacation and the exhilaration of the recently concluded volleyball match. She didn't venture too far from the shore, content to wade in waist-deep water and rinse off the sand clinging to her body. Unbeknownst to Nicole, her movements were stirring up something sinister beneath the waves. Earlier that day, two sharks had been sighted near a nearby resort, and despite the best efforts of the staff on jet skis, only one of the creatures had been successfully diverted away from the beachgoers. As Nicole looked up from the water, she spotted two people on jet skis in the distance. Blissfully unaware of the danger, she assumed they were fellow beachgoers enjoying the sunny day. From a distance, two people were frantically waving their arms and shouting to Nicole in Spanish. Unfamiliar with the language, she assumed they were simply being friendly and waved back with a smile before returning to her leisurely swim. However, when the pair shouted again, Nicole's sense of unease began to grow. Suddenly, a cold and slimy object brushed against her body, causing the 39-year-old to experience a chilling sensation of dread. Initially, Nicole entertained the thought that it was a child snorkeling nearby whom she had not noticed. However, as she looked down, she saw a massive mouth open and clamp down on her left thigh. The teeth were razor sharp, effortlessly slicing through her flesh like butter. Nicole watched in horror as the water around her turned crimson with her own blood. Although she was unable to feel the pain, the gruesome sight left her in no doubt that she was in grave danger. The release of endorphins triggered by the surge of adrenaline had acted as a natural painkiller. Nicole was under immense pressure as the shark attempted to pull her underwater. However, the sight of the shark's teeth, sharp and serrated, gave her a burst of strength. Defying fear and the possibility of death, she raised her right hand and began hitting the creature erratically, until she managed to land a powerful blow on its nose. That one punch proved to be her salvation. While it is commonly believed that a shark's eyes and gills are its most sensitive areas, a well-placed hit on the nose can also potentially make the animal release its grip. That's precisely what happened in Nicole's case. The shark let go of her badly wounded left arm and swam away. However, the ordeal was far from over for Nicole. She still needed to make it to shore. Despite losing a significant amount of blood and suffering severe injuries to both her upper and lower limbs, Nicole's left arm hung precariously and her left leg had a gaping wound, rendering it almost immobile. Even a non-expert could tell that the situation was dire. But Nicole was a nurse and knew that her wounds were potentially fatal. With each passing moment, she grew fainter, and the risk of losing consciousness and drowning loomed large after her hard-fought battle for survival. After experiencing organ failure and losing consciousness, Nicole underwent an eight-hour operation in a desperate attempt to save her life. The medical team had to insert a central line directly into her heart and pump unit after unit of blood to ensure it kept functioning. When Nicole awoke in the hospital, her father Alberto and her husband Jay were at her side. Someone had found the missing piece of her left leg and brought it to the hospital where it was successfully reattached. However, her suffering was far from over. Six days after the attack, Nicole was flown from Mexico to Toronto as her father and husband had struggled to find a hospital bed in Canada. Eventually, they found a team who was willing to help Nicole through her ordeal. The new doctors were shocked to find teeth marks on Nicole's bones. But what was even more concerning was the careless nature of her previous operations. Decay, seawater, and sand were mixed in with the bandaging, 
and her thigh had been reattached incorrectly, causing it to rot away gradually due to a lack of blood supply. Multiple tissue transplants were necessary to cover Nicole's bone and flesh again, and ultimately her arm had to be amputated. Despite all of this, the attack never broke Nicole's spirit. She made the courageous decision to stay and fight for her life and children, overcoming every obstacle and bout of pain along the way. Instead of harboring hatred towards the shark, she recognized that she had been trespassing in its natural habitat. Although shark attacks are incredibly rare in Cancun, with only 40 recorded in the past 450 years of all of Mexico, after 11 months of recovery, Nicole returned to Cancun and even swam in the same waters where she had nearly lost her life. Since then, she has become a motivational speaker, shark conservationist, and a beloved guest of Shark Week. Nicole's journey serves as a reminder that even in the face of the most daunting challenges, we have the power to overcome and turn adversity into opportunity. By advocating for shark conservation, we can help ensure that these creatures continue to thrive in our oceans, preserving the delicate balance of our marine ecosystem.